the project was to build three new libraries in three areas of Derby, Allington, Chelliston and Mackworth. The project to build the three new buildings cost £2.7 million. Pounds. £2 million pounds of that came from the Big Lottery Community Libraries Fund and Derby City Council funded the rest of the, the project to build. Derby City Council are also funding the running costs of the libraries. I remember Chelliston Library prior to building the new one. When I first remember it, it was in our Methodist schoolroom in the main high street and they used to have two days a week. Having the new library, it's a fantastic building. Library panels were incredibly important to us. They were formed right at the beginning of the project and they helped us with every aspect of the setup of the new libraries. Of Chelliston Library, I think uh, the most successful feature is the light and airy feel that we have to the building, a modern interpretation of a library. It's quite an exciting building with its modern entrance area, uh, glazed, inviting and warm I think. Um, until the library came there wasn't really a centre of the estate, there were shops, but there wasn't any time to pass the time of day with other people. I think Mackworth, uh, architecturally, um, I think it, the most important feature there is this fantastic glass wall that we've got in the entrance area that gives you the views over those green spaces towards um, Mackworth Village. When the library opened, uh, my son and I was looking for some books and there was an elderly person and she says, uh, I'm Isaac Allen's granddaughter who is the founder of Allington. He owned all the land and he uh, had farmers working for him. He realised there was no school for the children, so he had the school built then for the children. Allenton is completely different, I think, to, to the Chelliston and um, the Mackworth Library. We had to integrate it into a more urban setting and we were linking it to a late Victorian school. Apparently uh, none of the libraries in Derby have have a, a garden and this was going to be the first one really. Well there's one bed that's dedicated to a community payback service who were absolutely fantastic in the, in the structure of the garden with their help. The rest of the maintenance, planting, watering and upkeep is done by the panel members themselves. I would hope that the the library is, is giving where there were some gaps in Allenton and also the garden provides some serenity, uh, either following work or following school for children to relax and appreciate their surroundings. It was most important to have the community involved. They've helped the architect to come up with the plans that would are so successful at the moment. They gave the architect a direction to go with each of the designs. And it's given local communities a library that they actually want to use. One of the nice honours of being involved with this is that, uh, that I'm on one of the paintings in the library. So as long as the, the library's here and long after I've gone, I should be stuck up in the library. <laughs> I hope. <laughs>